Well, I'd like to welcome everybody to, uh, to our Pacific Rim Hotel. I'm speaking to you from next door um, at my little tea house on top of uh, Shaw Tower. You know, I think that everybody in the room here knows about a lot of our projects, even though they don't know that much about West Bank as a practice. And what's really interesting is the way that our practice is evolving. I don't really think of us anymore as a real estate development company. You know, I don't think that there's any developer in North America that is putting the effort or the resources that we are into our public art programs, so our collection of vintage couture, uh, the architecture and design that's going into our buildings, and the art that's going into our projects. The West Bank is taking on the role of the patron of culture. And the idea is that we build up a trusting relationship with some of the leading designers in the world. This is not something that just happens, it's something that evolves. And I think that um, it's interesting for Vancouver to see how West Bank is evolving and uh, the project Alberni Street I think is a perfect, um, perfect example of, of where we're moving as a firm. You know, the irony is if, if Alberni Street was being developed in Tokyo, it would be the finest, um, the finest residential tower in Tokyo a city that has the finest architecture in the world, and yet it's being developed uh, right here in Vancouver. The architecture buffs know of Kinga Kuma's work. You certainly know that Japanese architecture is thought of at the highest echelons of architecture, and within that, Kinga Kuma's practice is right at the very top. And I thought that one of the things that's really interesting about being in this tea house today is that at the same time that Kanga Kuma is doing the Olympic Stadium for the 2020 Olympics, he was designing this little tea house that we're sitting in. But I just, I, I wanted to start here because I really am incredibly proud of this little tea house. And this notion that no project is too small. And it's, it's very similar to no detail is not worth spending the effort on. Once a day, somebody asks me, what's your favorite building? Even though it's maybe the smallest thing that we've ever developed, or certainly the smallest thing we've ever developed, my little tea house is my favorite little building. I like to think of us really as a culture company. I want everything that West Bank does to be the physical embodiment of culture. And it's this idea of bringing teams together and curating amazing outcomes. And I don't think there's any reason why Vancouver can't have the most beautiful architecture in the world, and that's our goal.